everybody welcome to uh, camps bay cape town it is 7 30 a.m we're gonna go get some food and we're gonna make our way over to cursed bosch botanical gardens and head up to skeleton gorge which goes to the top of table mountain and back down it's about five to six hours worth of uh walking i'm not looking forward to it but we're gonna go do it anyway and hopefully get some good pictures videos and drone footage morning tiff Morning. How are you feeling? I'm just dandy. Dandy? Yeah, if I figure out these socks, I'll be dandy. He hasn't got used to these little skinny socks yet. They need a top. They don't have, look, they don't have top. It's designed so you can't see. Yeah, but they have all of this re real estate here that they could have filled, you know? Maybe you should engineer. This man's an engineer, by the way, so maybe you should engineer some socks. I'll, I'm going to engineer some socks when I get home for job number one. <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> Priorities. I think Dom and I have both agreed that we will not be washing the hire car no matter how salty it gets. I think it's filthy though. Oh, Skeleton Gorge walk has begun. Six hours apparently, there and back. <laughs> Not sure if we're gonna survive. What's the time now? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, we'll check back in. Four o'clock. <laughs> Man, I've got a date at six. <laughs> you can't put that on the vlog. I'm already struggling. It's been like five minutes into the walk. I'm sweating, my legs are burning, and uh, we haven't even gone off the path yet. Like, that's where we got to go. And this is where we are. We've stopped for our first rest. Probably about 45 minutes in. Oh, and it is it's hard, let me tell you. Unlike the lion's head walk, this one has been constantly uphill. Almost feel like I should be having my ears depressurized as I walk. Woo! This terrain that we are going up is unreal. Oh, I'm exhausted, <laughs> but it's getting a lot cooler the higher we go up. And there's water, so that is a good sign. Oh. Dom up there has just informed me that some of these branches and rocks are really loose. So uh, don't hold on to the branches, apparently. <laughs> Imagine one of these on top of you. Oh. I'm not used to having to concentrate on like saving energy as I walk, keeping my breath. The top's close. Oh. All of a sudden, we've hit beach sand. We've heard the rumors about this. It's just so strange to come from a rainforest to the top of a mountain, and it's literally beach sand. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be a beach soon. All the way down there, that, so we started. Oh, we've already achieved something great, Dom. Oh, I'm so happy right now. This is like, uh, what's it called when you can't, when you, like an oasis thing? Oasis, when you, oh. Mirage.
So we made it to the top. Safe to say it was very hard. It was definitely hard. Yeah, it was definitely hard. Definitely worth it though, look at it. Eat a Twix bar. Peaceful. So after that hard work, what are you having, Jimmy? I'm no liar, man. Told you I was gonna eat a Twix bar. <laughs> that is a healthy man if I've ever seen one. Let's get out of here. He did refer to himself as a predator just earlier. This beach sand though. I don't know how I got here. Ben Brown reckons that they uh, trucked it up with buckets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the truck. We just missed the road when we were walking up here. <laughs> yeah, we came the hard way. <laughs> oh shit. Hopefully the wind's up when we get back. If we have the energy, let's go for a kiteboard. Big ups. just run into this English guy about the same age as David Attenborough <laughs> must have been his cousin or something apparently there's a Himalayan tar up ahead and I said what's that and he said it's an animal that they shot in South Africa and he's never seen one in his life the best part was when I asked him what it was he said hmm let me see Australia a lot bigger than a kangaroo <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we didn't Aussie Bob's here we didn't have to tell him where we were from, he just knew from our accent. Well. going to be like, mate, have you seen big old Joey? He's a big boy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Much bigger than a kangaroo. <laughs> Everyone just associates us with kangaroos. Definitely just walk through a spider web. Mm. We did it. We made it. High five, bro. Bo. 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 <laughs> ah, let's go and have some cold showers, man. I'm wrecked. I'm so wrecked too. Well, how long do we do it? In three and a half, hours, and a half hours, including like a 45 minute swim. Yeah. I think that is the last voyage for my hat. Serves me well, it's very dirty. It's been to Indonesia twice, the Philippines, Vietnam, all through Europe. It's been a long way with me. Been through a lot, me and this hat. It's not a paid endorsement, but goodbye. Let me just clarify, I'm not gonna throw it out it means a lot to me, it's dear to me. I'm just not gonna wear it again because it's filthy and I've just put about 30 liters of sweat into the brim of it. Mm. Check this out, this is the difference in altitude air pressure from the top to the bottom. That bottle was, would, would we say inflated when we were at the top? Yeah, it was full of water and it was inflated. Now it is deflated and empty of water. This guy's a scientist. <laughs>